Extra Control adds some really useful new control elements to the Guido game engine. You can see in this demo images like we got nested groups and stuff, we got circular menus, we got sliders and stuff, we got new images and we got poles and here you can see there are drag and droppable objects, there are things that can be ordered by text and there are a lot of different UI elements that you can see here and they got some demo scenes too so you can check it out. Quest Manager is a node-based quest management system. It lets you create quests and missions using nodes. It has different nodes for different type of tasks and giving rewards and performing actions based on the player's task completion. So it's a really amazing add-on and you can check it out in the description. Arc2D is a surprisingly useful ghetto add-on. It lets you create arc lines. It's similar to the Gido's built-in line 2D, but now it can create arcs. You might think, wow sir, that's not really useful for me at the very least. But hear me out my little friend. Let's check out what Lilu can do with its simple line 2D. He creates this amazingly beautiful lightning effect just by using the line 2d he takes the line 2d slaps a black and white texture on it then goes to the shader and adds a uv panning node and some shader parameters he has a full video guide how to make this full effect i'll link it down in the description uh, but simply he just adds some shader material and in the end he adds a color to it and sets the blend mode to add and yeah he has the effect and that was just a line man you can create much more effect with a node that can curve and bend so experiment around and let me know in the comments what you created node distance tool is a simple yet really useful tool it lets you know the difference between two nodes this might not sound really useful but when you're designing levels or some things that you really need precision mainly like a platforming level or things like that so you really need, need to know the precision and difference between two tiles and stuff like that this tool really comes in handy there mesh scatter lets you scatter around 3d meshes around a 3d scene or a 3d mesh object I think I've said 3D too much here, but it's a really amazing add-on and I see a lot of potential in this add-on. This is one of the coolest scattering add-ons I've seen on the internet and I would really love to see more of these guys. Git is a one-time solution for version control and backup for any game engine or programming format or any development and the, the Gido Git plugin integrates the Git program directly into the Gido game engine. That means you don't need to work too much for setting up Git here. It's really amazing and they have a really nice wiki too. So you can check out the documentation and it's really easy to set up. While working on a project, we often need to create a to-do list. A list that we create to tell ourselves the task that we want to be done. And often we use different and third party software for these kind of work. And it can definitely be a hassle switching between all of these software. To do manager makes it real easy and integrates the to do system inside the Gido game engine. And now you can seamlessly use it and it's really amazing. Resource Wrangler lets you visualize and create resources using interactive nodes. This add-on shows a lot of promise and on the GitHub and the GitLab repository I see a really good readme here. In fact, any of the add-ons I cover on this channel never have a really good readme and I definitely respect Resource Wrangler for that. But that's not it. It explains the add-on's full working really good. 
and the add-on itself is insanely impressive. 3D3D lets you procedurally generate 3D tree meshes really inside of the Gido game engine. These trees are fully procedurally generated and this goes to show how the Gido community is trying to make the Gido engine better and better. I used to find these kind of add-ons for a softwares like Blender and Maya, but now you can generate these kind of stuff directly inside the game engine. And as you can see, you can this is fully procedural, so you can mess around with a lot of properties. And yeah, it's really amazing. At the end, this add-on never gets old. Project Time Manager lets you know how much time are you spending on a project. It te even tells you how much time you spend on scripting, 2D, 3D, or finding new assets. And it's really amazing. In the end, your health is what all matters and it's uh, definitely good. So yeah, that's it for today's video. You can find the Patreon link in the description if you want to support me. And yeah, goodbye.